Well hi there folks, now you might recognise this, this is the foam board flight test mini Mustang and just behind it here is my creation which I suppose you could call the MIDI Mustang. Let's see the difference in size. Basically a scaled up version, scaled up by a factor of 1.42 or 142%. But the major difference with this one is, it's got a nice decent wing as opposed to a pretty basic foam board wing. Not particularly aerodynamic. This has actually got a nice wing. But how did it come about? It's actually a wing from a little foam board throw glider. Here's the story. Well I've built a number of little glider conversions. This is my single engine version. In fact I've made a couple of those. Different weights and so on. This is my biplane. But the other thing I've done with them is I've used the fuselages to make what I call the little Vulcan. That's this one here which flies absolutely beautifully. Basically a combination of foam board and little fuselage but of course when you do that you end up with spare little wings. Hence I had the idea to scale up, use the little wing which is much more efficient, slightly change the profile of it, made it slightly swept back but to use the little wing the flight test Mustang plan which I scaled up by a factor of 1.42 or 142% based on the different wingspans of the little wing that I was planning to use and the original Mini Mustang foam board wing. Scaled it up, had to Google how to do that but you can do it in Adobe Acrobat. Scaled up the plan, print it off, cut out various bits as you can see here and then I started building. Now the trickiest thing really was to get the angle of incidence right here. Now my first attempt after I chipped it and glued it I thought it just didn't look right which is why you can see this is slightly butchered here because the plan gives it much more of an angle that way which just didn't look right. It made it far too steep an angle of incidence. So a bit of chivying around, a couple of attempts at making a nice little bubble cockpit. This is again a bit of pop bottle I made several attempts at this. good thing about using pot bottle is it's very cheap. You can mess around with it as long as you like until you get the kind of profile you like. So that worked. Couldn't decide which towel to use. Had a couple of these spare ones knocking around. Did think about using the vertical stab from another little glider but in the end I settled for the little horizontal towel plane and I cut a scaled up vertical stab. So I think the proportions look nice. I'll put details of what, what motor I've used there down below. This is an undercarriage I had from something else that I've made earlier, just rubber banded on. Plus, as you can see, I've put a little tail wheel on because as it's very experimental, I'm hoping it's gonna take off from the ground. That'll give me more chance to get, con to get control of it. I've only pretty much temporarily glued these here which is why it looks a bit of a mess because if it comes to it I can cut around the foam and change the angle of incidence again. Hence it looks a bit of a mess there but let's face it I didn't know where I was going with this when I started. So that's that for now. Let's go out and see if it's going to fly. It's actually looking like there's not too much wind today and it's not raining. Let's go and have a look. Right well here we are and the MIDI Mustang with a bit of luck is going to get its maiden Wish me luck. I don't know if this is going to take off or not. Oh man, with a bit of luck. Come on now. Be good to me. Oh, it's cold. No. Nose over. Half throttle. No, that's on low rates. It feels lovely. That's half throttle. I'll shut the throttle and see what happens on a glide. Not bad. Not easy to see it though, it's quite small. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it around here. No, I need to trim it down. It's climbing like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Right, well here she is, back in one piece again. In fact, looking a little bit prettier because I made a, a few other changes. Well, as you saw, she did fly, but almost uncontrollable, which I put down to a couple of things. Way too tail heavy. I've made a mark in the fuselage of where I proposed the centre of gravity to be on the wing, but I'd actually put the battery in the wrong place. And the other thing was the incidence of the tail was way too high. So I've made that zero zero, hacked it around a bit, and I'm hoping on my next attempt with nose weight a bit further forward and that change, it's going to fly well. But at the moment we've got awful weather. But if you've got nothing to do and you've enjoyed this, why not check out some of the other bits on my channel and even hit subscribe down there somewhere. Um, and you might see the second maiden, if there's such a thing, of this, where I'm hoping she's going to go really well. But that's all for now. Happy flying and I hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.